Top investors watching you, Monty. Joining me right now is Michael Lee, strategy founder, Michael Lee, Bull Tech Capital Markets Chief Strategist, Catherine Rooney Vera, and Spotlight Asset Management Chief Investment Officer, Shana Sissel. Great to see everybody this morning. Thanks so much for being here. Catherine, kicking it off with you. Want to take a look at energy this morning because gasoline futures are surging this morning as uh, much of the vital colonial pipe. Let's talk about uh, Ethereum surging past 4,000 for the first time last week, rising more than 7 percent just in the last day. It comes after Dogecoin fell by nearly 30 percent during Elon Musk's appearance on SNL. Should people be betting on these cryptocurrencies like this? What, what, what's your take on, on what the best value is right now in this space, if any of them? Yeah, so, Maria, it, it's important for people to realize that Dogecoin is, is a meme coin and that it's there's nothing real behind it. And the Doge father himself, Elon Musk, really let everybody down, uh, all the holders of it, on Saturday Night Live. So Bitcoin is your first mover store of value that has real. the price is really stabilized between 55 and 60,000. It's slowly going to inch higher. I believe we're still at the early stages of institutional adoption of Bitcoin. But the one that's really been moving, as you mentioned, it is Ethereum. So what's going on with, with Ethereum is a lot of things. Um, last week, you had uh, Tom Lee at Fundstrat Advisors come out with a report giving it a $10,000 price target. You had uh, JP Morgan coming out with a detailed report, not from some cryptocurrency analysts, but from their chief interest rate strategist, talking about all the catalysts for Ethereum going forward. First, if you look at a historical relationship between Ethereum and Bitcoin, that, that relationship puts the price of Ethereum above $5,000 which is 25% higher than where it is right now. Uh, and behind Ethereum is a really advanced uh, computer blockchain network. Uh, the European Investment Bank did a $100 million bond deal on that network last week. There's four ETFs based on Ethereum that are trying to come out, and the first one was launched in Canada, uh, I believe, last week. In addition to that, the network is changing so that transaction fees are placed in Ethereum, and it burns. It, it's going to burn burn those uh, tokens or coins completely off, uh, off, offline so that the new supply of Ethereum is limited going forward. And then this network does have more uses than financial transactions. It works for non-fungible tokens as well as gaming. So there's a lot of powerful technology behind uh, this, this token. And Jamie Dimon himself thinks it's worth more than Bitcoin, which obviously Bitcoin's at about 50, between 55 and 60,000, and Ethereum's only at 4,000. So there's a, there's a lot more behind this than, say, a Dogecoin or a Bitcoin. And all these different tokens and coins have little different stories and technologies behind them. I'm pretty bullish on Ethereum for right now. It's my biggest crypto holding. Uh, I, I, I still think uh, Bitcoin uh, has a long way to go as, as more and more larger institutions get involved, and the printing of money worldwide yeah. continues. Yeah, no, you're right. The liquidity is certainly increasing as uh, more institutions get involved. It's hard to argue some of these moves that we've seen. We'll keep watching. Michael Lee, Catherine Rooney, Vera, great to see you both. Thanks very much for being here. Shana, you're sticking around all morning. Happy